Good morning, my rogue readers. My name is Erin Rogoff, and welcome back to my booktube channel, where today we will be discussing Volume 2 of the Black Butler series by Yana Toboso. Now, Black Butler is a fiction, paranormal fantasy, gothic fantasy manga series, and it is so worth the read. There are like 30 books in the entire series, and more are being published, so I can't wait to read the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the one after that. So, as you can tell, I'm kind of obsessed with the series after seeing the anime series and then writing about 150 fan fictions of it, and only now am I getting into the manga as well. There are several TV shows like the Black Butler manga series, including Death Note, Naruto, Attack on Titan, and Vampire Knight, and I would highly recommend all of those. As far as a general summary goes, I actually had to write it down because I couldn't remember everything. So, after Sebastian Michaelis rescues CL Phantom Hive from Azuro Vanel, things turn dark again when a mass murderer of prostitutes appears in the London papers, as in Jack the Ripper. CL has Sebastian look into the subjects, such as backgrounds, connections to secret societies, alibis, and skill sets to remove parts of the prostitutes, that's all I'm going to say, and etc. So, CL disguises himself as a girl, and Sebastian disguises himself as her tutor, and they, with Madame Red, Grel Sutcliffe, and Lau, go to the Viscount Druitt's soiree to find out if he is the one murdering the prostitutes. And when it turns out that the Viscount is not the one doing that, there is a possibility of two suspects being in it together and handling the murderous matters. So, who could these two people be to make up the story of Jack the Ripper? We do not know, and the story gets really interesting. I have so much to say when it concerns what I liked about the manga book, but I will just get to the first three points. Sebastian Michaelis. He is my manga boyfriend. Reading-obsessed girls can have book boyfriends, so this reading-obsessed girl can have a manga boyfriend. And another thing that I liked was the plot. It's an interesting twist that goes into more detail than the anime TV show itself. And I saw the anime first, so now I'm reading all the manga comics, and I have the first three. I read them in, like, three days, and it was so good, I cannot express how amazing it was. And then the third and final thing that I really liked was the connections to Jack the Ripper and how a non-fictional mystery can wind up in a fictional book, and I think that it works with the idea, and it's well thought out and intriguing, so if you agree, hit that like button, please. And what did I dislike about the book? There was almost nothing I didn't like, just because this was everything that I hoped it would be. And I hope that if you read this book, it is just as amazing for you as it was for me. As far as final notes go, where can I find a Manga Man Maker machine so I can make Sebastian come to life and then have him be my demon lover? Because he is one hell of a demon, and he would be one hell of a lover too, or that is what all fan fictions about him seem to prove. As far as Sebastian goes... With himself, he can tie a cherry stem in a knot with his tongue, so I am led to believe that he is a good kisser, too. <laughs> anyway, that is all for today, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support, subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this, turn those notifications on to be notified when I have a brand new video uploaded, have a great day, and keep on reading!